Las Vegas haul. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you what I bought from Las Vegas. Before I start off, I wanna say that I'm not bragging or anything like that. I just wanna show you what I got. I'm going to include the souvenirs that I've got that I bought from Las Vegas in another video. Actually, I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go. So I got this whole bowl of souvenirs here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys, so I got cute little magnets that go in your fridge and they're just springs. Say Las Vegas on him. One is a crafter. I thought that they were pretty fun. They had this magnet store in the Caesars Farm Shop that had a ton of these little guys and all different uh, characters. A bottle opener. It sure says Las Vegas. It's full of water and jelly stuff. And it's got like dice and money, coins. There's even a little playing card in there. I thought it was pretty cool. Then we went to uh, CVS or Walgreens. Uh, down where we were and I got this little shot glass for a dollar If you're ever going to Las Vegas, don't ever buy shot glasses from uh, Your gift store because they're gonna be like ten bucks and these are like a dollar at CVS or Walgreens It just says name your poison Las Vegas And they had a ton of different ones to choose from And I also seen these little cute little lollipops that are like dice um, the blue ones are blue raspberry and the red ones are cherry. And then we also hopped over to a candy shop that was located in our, um, hotel. It was called, it's sugar or something like that. So I got this cute little nostalgic container full of mints. Just a Nintendo remote. And then also from Nintendo games, I got this cute little mushroom guy full of sour candies. This is like three bucks. The other one, this is three bucks as well. Oops. <laughs> I also got these candies. I just thought it was funny. Like <clears throat> the stuff that this stuff or the, the candy says is just kind of hilarious. Like just like dad, like refreshing orange flavor. Actually, I didn't even know it had a flavor, but. And then me and my sister love Warheads. So I got this super sour. Uh, liquid it's like kind of it's like a squirty thing that you squirt in your mouth it's got two little things that mix together it's kind of like tastes like the stuff that you that Lacenza girl used to sell it was like in those squeeze packets and you could get blue raspberry or green apple or cherry or something okay now back to the video so, uh, I got my nice apple cider here with me to join me and on my lips right now is one of the products I actually bought so I'll show you that first so of course I had to go to Sephora in Vegas we went to the Caesars forum shops and I went to the huge Sephora they had there and I got a lot of great service I gotta say um, one of the products I was meaning to go in to get was the Too Faced melted lipsticks and this one is in melted strawberry so backwards you can't see it but i have it on my lips right now and it's like a strawberry raspberry color like it's very pretty let's swatch it for you guys like that's it so i got one of those and they also have their new Too faced um melted matte liquid and i got this one in drop dead red it's called I wanted the lighter color, but I think it was more of like a ruby red, so I'm kind of happy with this one. So this is the packaging. Very pretty. And it's more of a brownie color, but I like it because it's like a deep, deep color. A deep, deep color? I mean a deep red color. A brownie red, darker. And this one's more of a strawberry, which explains the name. So I got those two for lip products, and then while I was away, I was using this liner non-stop. It's a Kat Von D tattoo liner. This one's a little bit different than the one I originally have. Trooper, it's called. And I just love the application on it. Like, you can see, like, it's just it's a fine tip. And so black, and so pigmented. And this stays on for a good while. 
and it comes out pretty easily so I'm really happy with that that was like my go-to liner for when I was away and so easy to put on like that's what I feel I have a struggle with is the wing eyeliner but practice makes perfect so anyways moving on it was across from Encore and when there's a mall there that's like three stories I forget the name I'll have to link it below but there was a pack sun there and I got this cute little it's kind of like fish scale case it's rubbery so it's plasticky which is what I like better and it's so thin so that was like I think 20 bucks I think so I got that and while I was away I wanted to get a brand new purse so I went with Kate Spade and I finally got a Kate Spade purse so this is my baby so it's like a little tote it's got the whole handles on here and it's also got a big strap so you can wear it as a crossbody as well inside it's just got the zipper pockets and a zipper pocket on the top there and two pockets as well and it's got the cute little, don't mind my stuff, cute little polka dot uh, pattern on the bottom there. So I got that. And I think that was, it was like $2.98, but the guy, since we were there in the, um, in the early morning, like when, right when they opened, he gave me a $50 discount, which was awesome. So I ended up purchasing that one. And that was at the forum shop in Caesar. It was like big Kate Spade store. And we happened to stay at the Venetian, so early on, like the night before, uh, we went into the other Kate Spade store. And um, they had a bunch of their spring stuff, 25% off. So I ended up getting this cute little wallet. And it was 25% off. I think it was $130, 40 It ended up being $100, but tax. So it's a cute little wallet. It's got all your card slips. Card slips here, two pockets, two pockets, and then on the back, your zipper coin pocket. So really cute. I loved how thin it was in the design, and now it matches the bars. Also in Caesars Forum Shops, uh, I went into the store called Angel. They don't have those in Canada, Ontario that I know of that I've ever been into. This is the first store I went into. But I got a pair of jeans and these were like 40 bucks. They're from Nine Planet is the brand. Super stretchy, super comfy. They're just regular straight jeans. Dark wash and just basic pants. But perfect for what I need because I need jeans for work and play, of course. So I scored these ones. Moving on. So when we went out um, down the strip, we went to MGM Graham to see one of uh, their shows. And while we were down there, we went shopping. So we went to the Coca-Cola store and they had a huge bear there. And taking pictures with them, which I will include pictures. And uh, I just had to get something from the store. Let me get, let me say first, this store was amazing. Like Coca Cola products, like galore, and so many cool things. Reasonably priced. Like I mean, it's not like fifty bucks for a shirt or something ridiculous like that. I got this shirt for twenty bucks. And it's got a, a nice polar bear on the front. It's just navy blue crew crew neck there. And it says Coca-Cola Las Vegas and it's got its backside on the back. So cute. They have these on all different colors. And again it was a nineteen ninety five blood stack, so when we were at uh the Encore win side of that mall. I also went into Hollister, which 
I'm not a big Hollister fan. Like, their stuff is super comfy. I have a bunch of sweaters and t-shirts and whatever. It's nice stuff to just toss on after a long day at work or just a day at play. So, we went into the shop and I didn't expect to buy anything. But I bought two things and one of them I was looking for was a romper because I love rompers I think they're cool for the summer it is beginning to be summer it's still spring but I got to wear it in Las Vegas because it was like 80 degree weather which was amazing so this is my romper Whoop. So it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to see, but you kind of get the picture. It's got three quarter length sleeves and shorts, and the back's just plain. So it looks super cute on though. I also got a tank top there as well. This is in their clearance. Section, I believe. I think. <laughs> Not really sure. It's like sixteen dollars. I think it was five or ten dollars off. So it's like a big little tank top, and then the cute little back. So that. And last thing I went into was a super dry store. I've never heard of one of these before ever. This is my first time going into one. And uh, all their products are dip dyed, naturally dyed. So they naturally fade and whatever. So they had a bunch of exercise clothes and they had some summer clothes as well. I wasn't really a fan of their um, summery stuff because I found the fabric not as soft and nice. I like comfy stuff. I go for comfort more than style sometimes. So I ended up getting this gym top. So it just like fades. It's like a... And it's got the raised back. It's nice. Like It's like stretchy. Soft material. So... I got that and who knows like I might not just wear it for working out I might wear it around as well but those were my goodies that I got in Las Vegas and one tip I'm gonna give you if you guys ever go to Las Vegas definitely get a monorail pass for how many days you're staying if you're staying for that many days we stayed for three full days and let me tell you, Las Vegas is a lot of walking. I'm like, I'm really fit and it was a lot of walking for me and we got blisters and it wasn't fun. So we ended up getting a monorail pass like the next day and it was like 50 bucks for um, three days, three day pass, which was totally worth it nonstop. We can go whenever you want. So it gives you cards and you just slip them in. And this is like the monorail track. So it goes, all the way down the strip and we were like right here right here actually so if you were here it saves you from walking all the way here or getting a ta cab or taxi because that's gonna be like 20 bucks or something if more or not more because of all the red lights and traffic and everything like that so that's just an option for you. We never looked at bus fares or anything like that. So keep that in mind. Check everything out before you're done. Anyways, cheers guys. Bye.